This is talking about Goldie Lawrence. He is coming in for an official visit this upcoming weekend, and he has already signed with Florida State. He's already signed his letter of intent, so technically he is bind into the program at this point. Should there be inquiries with Florida State in terms of Goldie Lawrence now officially visiting and everything like that? Do you think there's any any concerns or anything? Um, me personally, I don't think so. Um, I think that I honestly, I think that was the point of trying to get them on campus and make sure that everything was settled out. Um, I I do think everything will be settled out. Um, and hopefully, you know, he can get on uh, campus soon, man. Do you do you think that he's kind of an unforgotten piece with with just some of the receivers that we have in the rotation? Kind of like you know, we already have Hakeem in. Everybody keeps talking about. We have Vandravius Jacobs that came in, and now we have him. But it seems like everyone's kind of talking about just those two receivers and kind of leaving Goldie out to dry a little bit because he is a summer enrollee at this point. I, I don't think he's you know quote unquote been forgotten about. Yeah. Um, I do think, though, when he gets on campus, he's going to have to work hard to get get some reps with either the first team or second team. I don't think right now with the depth we have a receiver core that he's too deep or maybe even three deep. That's just my opinion. I, but like I said, I think he, he's got talent. Obviously, he's got a lot of talent. But it's going to take some time for him to get on campus, especially with him getting in here late, like you said, during the summertime. He's not going to be here now with all the other guys that are already on on campus doing the workouts, doing the camp practice, doing the routine. He's going to have to find his own routine, his own groove to, to build that repertoire and that relationship with not just the coaches but his teammates and earn that respect so he can probably and possibly be called on in a do-or-die situation later on in the season. Hopefully that doesn't get to that point. But I think he'll be one of those guys that you'll see definitely be used in a redshirt situation, especially coming in late. Um, next year, this might be a different – conversation, but I think it's going to be a two-year waiting list for this kid for we see him really make an impact for Florida State. I agree. I, I agree, man. Like, I do feel like he's going to be like a develop a development piece, almost like a uh, like a deuce man, you okay. know, get him by the year, a year or two, you know. I think he'll be right, with, especially with that size. He got a lot of upside, so um, I, I think you just give him that time, I think he'll be a good receiver. Yeah, 